Oftentimes in golf we talk about having the proper fundamentals and they're ultimately really important because if you don't set up to the ball properly, it greatly diminishes your chance of hitting quality shots on a consistent basis. Today we want to talk a little bit about your posture, how you set up to the ball, because that greatly influences how your body moves, how your body turns, and how it pivots. And that has a great influence on how the club moves. So if we set up poorly, just one example, there's many, but for one, if we have too much knee flex, our spine's too straight, my shoulders will tend to turn too level, right? Perpendicular to my spine, but if my spine is very vertical, my shoulders will turn too level, the club will go too far to the inside, and then I've got to make compensating moves the whole time. So we want to set up in a way that's going to allow our body to move properly. So we need to set up with our weight more in the middle of our feet, because with regards to the arches or just toward the front of the arches, a little bit of knee flex. We want to bend over a little bit from the hips, but we want a neutral spine. So what often happened over the years is these, these concepts get exaggerated over time. So it was often thought that you need a really straight back because these sharp angles, you can really keep your spine angle and make this nice consistent swing. But with the advent of 3D technology and, and a little bit more of the kinesiology side of things, we know that you don't really keep your spine angle. And as a matter of fact, it's actually bent inside your body, so it's obviously not rigid. So we, we've learned that your body, even though it looks like you maintain your spine angle, you don't really do that throughout your swing. So we want what's called a neutral spine. So we don't want our belt buckle tilted too far down. We obviously don't want it too far up. We want to get in the neutral. So if you found your neutral, which is sort of in the middle of how far down you could tilt it down and how far you could roll it up, that's where you want it to be so it's flat. You don't want to see any sort of cupping in this lower part of your back. So neutral spine. My upper back is a little bit relaxed up near my shoulders and then my chin is going to be down a little bit. So you can see here if I drew a line from my spine, my, actually my head isn't touching, my chin's down a little bit to help my body turn on the proper angle. To ensure you get in the proper posture that we talked about, here's a great drill. You're going to stand up and look straight ahead, weight nice and balanced as you'd normally stand. I'm going to keep my spine straight and I'm going to look down at my shoes and bend my knees until I lose sight of my shoelaces. Now I'm going to bend over from the hip slightly, keeping my weight nice and balanced and the arches are front of the arches of my feet. And I'm going to let my arms hang nice and relaxed. That'll also tell you your distance from the ball too for those of you that struggle with that. So it's sort of a drill that gives you more bang for your buck. It's like a double whammy. So practice this and I know you'll hit better quality shots.